After decades in the mountains witnessing the effects of climate change, Jeremy Jones was just looking to give a little back. You know, I had pro model snowboards and I wanted to give a percentage towards climate change. And I called a friend at Surfrider and was like, hey, where should I send my check? You're in this environmental world, just tell me what the best foundation is. And he called back a week later and was like, I did some research and um, you need to start your own foundation. Like everything in his life, Jeremy took this new challenge and turned it into a success, creating a nonprofit called Protect Our Winters, which has spent the last seven years fighting for the environment. And it's really intense going to visit Congress. I would say the feeling of getting ready to go into those meetings is very similar to the feeling of getting ready to drop a really serious line. On this trip to Nepal, Jeremy will continue his mission of conservation collecting ice samples for a study being done researching freshwater reserves around the globe. I was very excited to get the call telling me that Jeremy would collect samples in Nepal for, for this project. What we're really dependent on explorers or people that go and put their boots on the ground in these regions is to be able to get samples so we can measure how glaciers are thinning. Two billion people rely on the drinking water from the Himalaya, and that comes from snowmelt every year. Something that's really new about my work is that I'm able to show that glaciers are melting at elevations even as high as 20,000 feet. This is important because it means that we're losing a lot of water, and of course, everyone depends on fresh water. Working alongside like-minded people with different skills has led to success in all of Jeremy's pursuits. And on this mission for a riding partner, that's Luca Pandolfi, who will help Jeremy figure out and ride this last objective. Luca was a no-brainer. Very comfortable in the mountains, both climbing and riding, comfortable with exposure, has been to altitude, and that's Luca Pandolfi. Hailing from Italy, Luca has made his home in Europe's big mountain mecca, Chamonix, France, making a name for himself climbing and riding some of the area's major descents. I love the kind of, um, that balance between fear and excitement. I always like to know, to go and have a look. This is why I decided to come here. We're going the mountain, man. Some fresh, clear hair. Kathmandu is nice, man, but it's a big mess. <laughs> Biggest risk we take the whole trip might be this flight. It's getting serious. Yes, this might be uh, the sketchiest airport in the world. It's um, on the side of a mountain. And um, all I know is they used to have 12 planes, and now they have four, and they won't tell me what happened to the other planes. <laughs> Anyone who's been to the Kungu region talks about the flight to Lukla. And I think they have the worst crash record of any airport world, maybe. So that's in the back of your mind. 